Hey guys, in this video we're going to have a look at multiple ways of reversing lists and strings in Python. Um, let's go to the code. If I have a list here, I call it my list and then print its contents. As you can see, the first method to uh, reverse a list is the reverse method in class list. If I just do a shift tab on that, it tells me it reverses a list, but it does it in place. What that means is your actual list will be reversed. It will not generate a new list. If I run that and then print out my list, as you can see here, the original list was 1, 2, 3, 4, and my list now is, has become 10, 9, 8, and so on and so forth. So it has reversed it, but it did it in place. Let's get back the original um, uh, values for my list. So this is what it looks like. The second method is to use the reversed uh, function. If I do shift tab on that, it tells me it reverses um, uh, a, a, a list or an iterable, but it returns an iterable, which means we have to convert it into a list. Iterable means we can iterate through the contents here and get them one by one. Like, for example, we can do for i in reversed my list colon and then uh, on the new line we can process i or print it out we can do that but to get a list out of that we have to cast it and transform it into a list if i run that then i get the reverse of this list but now it doesn't generate it doesn't does it doesn't do it in place but rather it creates a new list and the third method is via slicing via this trick of colon colon minus one there's a nice logical explanation behind that but i won't go into that now maybe in another video but to do that i do my list colon colon minus one what that means is it'll make it start at the very last index and then uh, basically go to the left from the last the index of the last element element and then it goes back to the left if you can see so it goes back in, into the direction towards the first element and it gets them one by one that's how we get the reverse of the list so these are three methods in fact we can have a look at the timing so if I do time it on this one to see the average uh, time just to check which one is faster than the others. This one, in, in average, the best of three, we get 109, oh, sorry, 113 nanoseconds. And this method here, I expect this to be slow because we are uh, reversing and casting into a list. Get the average, uh, 837 nanoseconds. So that's a bit too much compared to this. And then via the slicing, if I do the slicing, time it, I'm sorry. Let's check how long this one takes on average. 295, nine, uh, uh, 295 nanoseconds. It does it, 100, it does it 1 million times. So, okay, the fastest one is this reverse, but always bear in mind that it does it in place, so your list would be reversed. The second fastest is via slicing, this column, column minus 1. The third and worst one is this one. For readability purposes, maybe, maybe, maybe this one is better and faster, but uh, always pay attention that it does it. Uh, pay attention to the fact that it does it in place. Okay, so that's for a list. For, to do it for a string, let's declare our string here. Maybe my string equals my string. Now we can use slicing if we want it. So it reverses it here. And there's another um, another method that we can use, which you don't see here. Let me copy it and maybe place it here, which is have a empty string and then join it to a reverse of our string so do the reverse this one that we said generates um, an iterable and then join it so it gives us a string as you can see I get the uh, reverse of my string but let's time these two methods and see which one is faster this one is good for readability but let's see the timing how long it takes on average so it does it 1 million times and then it gets the fastest of the best three. Okay, this one takes 1.2 microseconds. And let's time this one. Just let me just move it here so it's faster. Remember, this one is 1 1.2 uh, microseconds. If I paste that there and then check the speed, 221 nanoseconds. Um, so this one is by far faster. Uh, using the slicing is faster than doing the reverse and uh, doing the join But that's better for readability. It depends on what you do. I prefer this one personally uh, So like I said, it depends on how you see it So I'm gonna stop here quick and nice video on some of these uh, Python tricks and see you next time. Thanks for watching